Thank you very much, Waziri. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Deputy President, fellow Kenyans. During the last four and a half years, we have seen and lived in a world where there has been a number of challenges in the growth of many economies in the world. In Africa, the average growth rate of our economy, the economies in Africa, has been around 1.5%. In other parts of the world, the growth has been near zero. But for us, we have registered steady, sustainable growth that has peaked to a high of 5.8% and continuing. <laughs> Fellow Kenyans, that did not just happen by chance. We have had during that period a very strong macroeconomic environment where interest rates have been stable, where the exchange rate, the currency, has been strong and stable, and where we have managed to create an average of 800,000 new jobs each year during the last four years. Apart from the leadership of President Kenyatta, there are a number of other things that we have done as a country, and I just want to highlight two broad themes as part of how we managed to get there. One of the first meetings that we've had with President in 2013 was to fix the bottlenecks that we are facing as a country. And I remember being asked, I guess being directed actually, to travel from Mombasa to the port of Malaba to see what are the bottlenecks that is actually causing us trouble in the country. And that journey started from the port of Mombasa. If you think about the improvements that has happened, his Excellency, the President has focused this country into fixing the simple and the basics of this country. The things that actually annoy a lot of people. And a key part of that has been to fix the underinvestments that we have suffered for a very long time in infrastructure. And that is one theme I want to talk about. The second theme is the issue around bureaucracies that have strangled businesses and citizens of this country. In the area of infrastructure, the port of Mombasa during the last four years have seen its capacity doubled from 800,000 containers per year to 1.7 million containers that it can handle today. That has taken significant amount of investment, and nearly 35 billion Kenya shillings have been invested towards that expansion program. And a lot more is in the pipeline to increase that capacity to more than 2.2 million containers per year. The second area is the issue of roads. We have seen more than 1,950 kilometers of roads that have been tarmacked and complete across the country. There are places of this country that have never seen tarmac in their lives. My own hometown between Elwak and Mandera is one of the places that is benefiting from that. <laughs> Wajia town today, one of the dustiest towns in the country today, has got one of the best tarmacs that you can see and feel in the country. More than 7,000 kilometers of road is under construction and will be complete soon. If you think about the biggest and single most transformative program that we've had, the Standard Gauge Railway. His Excellency the President talked about it. I don't think many of us have even 
imagine the transformation and the impact that is going to have for this country and we will see something that we have not had for a hundred years has just been born and the benefits I think are going to be insurmountable whether it's for passengers or for cargo on areas of electricity more than 3.7 million households in this country have had connections to electricity that they have never had before. This is in addition to more than nearly 700 megawatts of additional power that has been brought onto the grid to serve our households and our industries. One of the most unique things about our power in this country is that nearly 75% of it is renewable clean energy. And many countries in the world are looking at Kenya to see how we can build on this renewable program. Our airport infrastructure has been expanded for a very long time, and we're very pleased that very soon we will be able to have ability to fly direct from here to the U.S. courtesy of Category 1 status that Jomo Kenyatta International Airport has achieved. Let me just highlight what this means for many of us Kenyans. What the roads have managed to do for people and transform people's lives, when somebody from Moyale used to take three days to travel to Nairobi, they are now able to do that in seven hours. When a truck carrying container leaves the port of Mombasa, goes to Kampala and takes 18 days, it now takes five days to go to Rwanda, beyond Kampala. His Excellency the President talked about the power of electricity and the impact it has on the lives of many of us in improving our ability to do many things. So, that is one of the basics that has been fixed by this government, and we now need to build on that very quickly. The second broad theme I just want to talk about is the removal of bureaucracies that we have suffered as a country for a very long time. You know, we have the law that governs all businesses in this country, whether you are small, medium, or large, is what is called the Companies Act. We have been operating using the 1948 Companies Act that we inherited from the British government. And in 2015, we now have a new Companies Act that is more relevant to the needs of Kenyans, that is more relevant to the needs of many small and medium-sized businesses that are the backbone of our economy in this country. Just to highlight a few examples, in the past, you needed to have a lawyer to register a business. Under the New Companies Act, you don't need that. Under the New Companies Act, you don't need to hold an annual general meeting, which many of you have seen that large companies and small companies were required to do in the past. We also don't have the need to have many directors and shareholders as a requirement like before. You can have a one-man, one-woman company. And many other benefits that has made the new company law to be more friendly and relevant to the needs of millions of small and medium-sized businesses that we have in this country. And so that is one of the things in terms of making it easy for businesses to do things. There are a lot of other measures that we have that we look at in helping small businesses thrive. How long does it take us to get electricity connection? How easy is it to pay taxes in this country if you want to comply? What about construction permits? What about if you want to register a business, a company, how long does it take you? There are many measures that we have looked at and continue to improve. And one of the things that I want to say 
is that as a country, we are really, really excited. Every year, the World Bank Group undertakes a study called the Ease of Doing Business that maps all countries in the world against one another. And for two years in a row, we were ranked as the third most improved economy in the world. That has happened courtesy of the reforms that this government started. We were number one in Africa, and we want to continue to drive and push on that journey as we look forward into the future. So the basics have been fixed. We need to do a few more to get to the promised land. So this journey must continue. And what are some of the specifics, as I conclude, have we seen as a result of fixing some of these basics in terms of benefits to this country, in terms of job creations, in terms of attracting investments? We were less than $500 million annual investments coming from outside into this country 2013. Today we are clocking nearly $2 billion per year. These are both domestic as well as foreign investment. These are the businesses that create jobs for young men and women every year. Starting from further south in the coast, I talked about the level of investments that we've done at the port that will transform lives. Nearly 60 billion shillings will have been spent at the port of Mombasa in expanding the capacity, improving efficiency, and many other things. As you come further north, at Sultan Hamoud, we have the biggest can manufacturing company in Africa, having spent 12 billion shillings. You will see that company very soon. So those of you who are drinking beer from can and juices and whatever, that can, not only for Kenya, but for many African countries, is being done in Sultan Hamoud. Come further north, Konza City, is going to be the transformation that I think this country has not seen yet. We are building a university equivalent to MIT of the US, where nearly 73 billion shillings have been committed, have been committed to transform Kansas City to be the new technology city, not only for Kenya, but for Africa. If you look around Nairobi, there are many, many, many other investments. We have the first special economic zone in Eldoret that will be attracting 200 billion shillings of investments where ground will be broken between now and August, coming very soon. So, fellow Kenyans, a lot has happened in the last four and a half years, but a lot more needs to be done. This is a journey that has started a journey that needs to be continued. And I think the transformation has been wonderful. We need to continue with this journey.